college basketball. You talk about Marquette loses, Duke loses to Georgia Tech, Kentucky loses. At Tonight's starting lineups brought to you by NBRPA. And there's a deep three from Boogie Ellis in the rebound. Isaiah Collier off balance and a wild shot. Do it. There was a guy back in the day, Mike Shashevsky, that they said couldn't yeah. get over the hump. Yeah, a lot of I guys think it's worked out okay hump. for yes. him. I love how Gonzaga has active hands. They work today against some of the post-ups of the bigger guards. Three-point line, but I love the spacing by the, the Zags. USC wants to drive and attack. It's going to lead for rebounds, and then they can push the ball in transition, knock down the shots. Boogie got the flyby that missed the three. Zaga team averaging 83 points per game early in the year. And the floater by Ryan. Nick. I'm shot. The advantage that both teams have, Jay Wills, you look at the lineups for both Mark Few and Andy. <laughs> Mr. Anton Watson World Tour. DJ Rodman spots up for three. And Nolan Hick. And Tyron Liu on the same team, along with Grant Hill, who runs USA Basketball, to literally think through how to organize. The situation with Bronny James, he's been medically cleared now to resume practicing and you could see him in a cardiac situation himself a year and a half ago almost now yeah also coming off back surgery i mean look he is super talented just doesn't have the reps and that's going to come in time open three and ben greg the miss through the first six games this season gonzaga is averaging six made threes per game they've already made four in the first seven minutes as I usc looks to attack page runs the floor the speed he is blocked. Ben Gregg gets tipped ahead for Kobe Johnson. Attacks the basket. Johnson misses. There's Collier. Look at that. That's bully ball right there. And he draws the foul. We'll get to the line. Shoulders and the way he plays bully basketball. He's super talented. Now, look, a lot of people are going to question his decision making. Averages around five turnovers per game. But because of that, right now. Travel again. Here's Collier. Gonna back his way down. It's Out of the pass. double team. Beautiful feed to DJ Rodman. Because he sees the double team coming and he knows where all his teammates are at all times. In and out for Dusty Strom on this team outside of Collier. He's such a good on ball defender. But now. Stromer launching. Likes that three. Vision and um, when you see young people or people in general fighting for their lives every day, it puts into perspective what you do on the court and you recognize, hey, what I thought would. And Stromer has eight to lead Gonzaga. Had him slipping right there every time. And a foul will send Vincent. Keep it easy. And Nemhart, here come the Trojans again with Collier. He'll attack. Collier has a deny. Not getting him the second time. Is Collier, USC's guards are standing up defensively, looking a little tired. And a three rattles it. Remind me a little bit of what Baylor had last year with LJ Cryer. Talk about the way they play with their three guards as well. Deontay George, Keontae George, excuse me, from North Carolina. Seth and I will be there. It's going to be a big-time game at the Garden. Deep three from Boogie Ellis. His set. Still 10 on the timer. Oh. Isaiah Good Collier pass. finds D.J. Rodman. Three. They're trying to be the main offensive force for the team. Um, you know, that's that's what happens. That's the way to being on the blue blood like exactly. Collier gets inside. And he's fouled with 9-10. Through the middle of your sternum, and when he gets you in the first half, USC just one for eight because he has that in him. But Mark Few was talking today about his importance on the court, just because of his skill level and his IQ, that he can do anything you need. Walking in Boston, so 92 and a half percent is a three average free throw shooting percentage between Boogie Ellis, Collier, and Johnson is 79 percent. Those are chippies that. You What's the point of having elite guards if you can't make free throws? Joshua Morgan missing inside. Graham E.K. lays it in. And when still being a freshman on the court, guys like Strummer are able to take advantage of guys when you take your eye off the ball. 
And then 10 for Brayton Huff off the bench. Boogie Ellis leading the Trojans with 10. That's a moving screen. That's a good call. And that's set, and then you go off the screen. That's on Nimhart, not Ike. Graham Ike blocks the shot of Isaiah Cole. T-Rex arms at times, things that scouts look for. And Roxy, the biggest thing that I think he needs to work on, he's only taking 19 three-point shots. A little over a week from now. I hope he saves it for when you and I call <laughs> USC at Auburn. Auburn. Isaiah Collier runs the floor and is fouled. We'll get to the line. We'll kick rocks. And it was engaged. He was clapping. He's a prick on the Trojans. Trying to get it back to single digits. Collier gets inside, has it stripped. And the loose ball, there's Graham E.K. And Collier tied him up. The arrow belongs to USC. Down low on for Huff not to rush. Down low on the block. Here's Collier. Oh Ball tipped out to Aaron Tim That Nimhart put on Isaiah Collier. You would have thought that Nimhart weighed 20 more pounds than Collier. He literally fought but to literally lean into that. That's the right call. Third on Ryan Nimhart. Here's Good Collier double, double down low. And Good he traveled. Movement. USC Load runs. Up. Collier. Joshua Morgan couldn't control it. And it See right there? Like, like That's the next level of his game. If he had the confidence to shoot the rock, the ball got swung very quickly by Johnson. Should have been a shot. It's good and terrible. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> because I, Anton deserves more respect. <laughs> I'm putting respect on his name. Isaiah Collier gets inside. Yeah. Emergency. Uh, th this team is physical, and they are competitive. And that one sails into Illinois. Also put up 18 against... San Diego. But does USC have a run to get back? And it starts. And the hometown kid from Spokane. Collier tries to turn the corner, keeps the dribble, then loses the basketball. Defensively, I mean, look, look at look where USC is running their offense. I mean, you would have thought that Gonzaga is down double digits with the way they're playing on the defense. Yeah. Okay, then who gets left out? I don't know. I'm, I'm not qualified to make those types of decisions, Rock. But if you're going to put somebody in, you got to take somebody out. He can shoot around in the practice. He just has a very high IQ and understanding of how to play this game. Mm -hmm. But he was a big time scout for a long time. Rest in peace, Tom. And Tom would hold your hand. We're having a conversation today around relegation in a lot of these different conferences, and I firmly believe we're going to get to that place where it's like if you're in, up, you're in the lower tier, and uh, we're trending in that direction for college sports. Boogie Ellis slides inside.